Lightning fast and explosive. We get what y'all are talking about. Every single one of y'all. If you're tired, if you had a good workout in the gym today, it's because you're supposed to. We went like about maybe about 15 rounds today uh, with the homie Tyrone, the homie Jawan, and a couple other lost individuals. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to post some of it, man, because we got some good rounds in, bro. I made somebody throw up. If you're watching this, bro, it happens, bro. Don't go sparring if uh, if uh, if you ain't eight because you're going to be throwing up stomach bile. You know what I mean? And it happens sometimes, man. Straight up. Seeing these balloons in empty arenas makes you respect Tank's hustle. I'm telling you, yo, the wood, bro. Great comment because every time you see an empty arena, empty, you know what I'm saying? It makes you see like, yo, Tank puts them in the seats. Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. The only reason they had their having it in the Barclays Center is because it's a small arena, bro. Yo, thank you for the cash app, Private for Shakira Twitterson. I appreciate for the, I appreciate the cash app, Mr. Shakira Twitterson. Started doing burpees today. Finna get back in shape. Yo, Ja, I was in boot camp in Harlan County, Illinois. Burpees, they call them beds and thrusts. You go down, pop up, go down, pop up. Then we'll then we'll make your heart explode. Really good for good, really good for your heart rate. All they're good for is your heart, really. Just you know what I'm saying? We do three counts. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two. You know what I'm saying? So burpees, really good for your cardio. Yo, when's Tank's next fight? Abel, it is June 22nd. Tell your friends, David Benavides on the undercard. Yo, uh, Jahan Ingram just FaceTimed me with a uh, Kermel, man. They at this fight. Yo, thank you, the wood on the cash app for the softball. I beat him up like ass today, bro. Made him throw up and everything, the wood. Hey, you, I got you on Instagram, right, the wood? I'll send it to you. I beat somebody up and they threw up today. They vomited out their mouth. But it happens in sparring. Sometimes don't go to the gym and spar if you didn't eat nothing or if you ate too much. In this guy's situation, he didn't eat nothing. So I made him throw up stomach bile. It happens. You know what I mean? But he ran, he ran to the garbage can. Yo, the wood. Yeah. I'll send it to you, bro. He went to go throw up. You know what I'm saying, bro? But uh, I gave him four body shots in a row and he was throwing up. I, I, I'll send it to you, uh, or I'll send you the live that is on. Oh, yeah. Beat his motherfucking ass. And he was younger than me, everything. Two weeks away, 14 days away, exactly. Matter of fact, after today, it's 13 days away from um, Ryan versus Haney. What is my thoughts on this fight? Private sends you Shakur or Devin? Damn, dog. Um, I'm going to have to say Shakur, bro, and not even like the guy. Way more skilled than Devin. And Devin has always showed that he's a little, you know, worried to fight Shakur. What are my thoughts on this fight? Richardson hits just to take it. Bay, you know, I, I'm not too fond of Buddy because he thinks he's a gangster, but way more skilled. This Mr. Lemos guy. I never heard of Lemos. I, I haven't heard of him. I've never seen a fight. But he looks like he's ready. He in shape. He ripped up, cut up, but that means nothing. We're going to see. Thank you for the data, Ali Cash. And he say. David Benavidez was hanging with Oscar de la Fishnet. I saw that, bro. David Benavidez was hanging out with Oscar de la Fishnet today. He was hanging out, bro. They was cool, shaking hands. I think Oscar, hold on, I'm going to turn it low. I think Oscar is doing that to piss off Canelo. Piss off Canelo. Hit that like button, 150. Yo, thank you for the $3 on the cash app. Oh, I, I appreciate you. Whoever just said, hold on, I got to turn this shit up. My bad. Hold up. I'm going to check your cash app, bro, because I feel like it's not fair to not read it. And um, I kind of got distracted. Hold on, my bad, my bad. My bad, y'all, hold up. If I missed your cash app, I apologize. Bluetooth. Okay, yeah, we, uh, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Y'all just, yeah, forget about this. We're not doing that. Forget about that. Uh, okay, so here we go. A different kind of hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you for the cash app, mister. Hold on, hold on. God bless you and your family. Rodrigo Gutierrez. Rodrigo Gutierrez. Thank you. Yeah, Clayton Holmes, bro. I had to beat him up for guys today. Um, we sparred about 
it was like maybe six different spy partners, but one guy I made his ass throw up. You know, the word I'm gonna show you. I should upload it to this man, but I'm not trying to embarrass buddy like that. But I should. But now nah, he he cool. I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to, you know what I mean? But it happens, bro. Hold up. He from Argentina. Oh, is he Lemos? Okay. Um, I did not know that, bro. Hold on, hold on. I didn't know where he was from, but he looks like he's in shape. He looks like he is ready. Hold on, hold on. I gotta go back on a stream to the boxing streams. Boxing streams. Yo, bro. Um, are y'all paying for this fight? I mean, I mean, I don't commit crimes. Okay, he's from Argentina, right? I take it he's tough because there's a lot of tough uh, Argentinian fighters. A lot of tough fighters from Argentina. Hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. All right, bang. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. Appreciate you. He gave his whole chain to Kamel. Who? Benavidez? <laughs> Who gave his chain to Kamel? Hey, yo, I seen Kamel with a chain on his Instagram. Who you talking about? Yo, two, three actual. Who gave his chance to come out? Yo, JB, it's not stream ease, but uh, I hear you. Yo, who gave his chance to come out? Benavidez, right? I knew I seen that shit. Um, yeah, bro. Um, I still, uh, Jahan Ingram just called me right now on the FaceTime. Carmelo, Carmelo is at this fight. I just saw him sitting there. He goes, yo, what's up, bro? They go, uh, Alicia, Bob Garner, and Clarissa Shields are in the building, too. Uh, Jahan showed me. He, I'm like, oh, shit, they there. Um, I seen Kamel Chain. Yeah, that's real gold, bro. David Benavidez is a high-paid boxer. Um, he, he gave the motherfucker to Kamel, bro. And Kamel Moulton is getting a lot of hate because he said it is the Benavidez era. He getting a hate for that. I seen people talking about, yo, he hanging out with South Park too much. Bro, come on, bro. Hold it right here. Shout out to Kamel Moulton for speaking the truth. Kermel Moulton, hold up. Canelo gets Royal Rage, yeah. Do I think Alicia should fight? I think so too, man, because Christian Shields will beat the shit out of her. Shields is commenting, yeah. Um, Alicia Baumgartner, the word is, is, is there too. Jahan Ingram, she go, yo, look who's sitting in front of me. I was like, give me the, I was, I was like, uh, put her on the phone. He goes, nah, nah, nah. I was going to cuss her out, but uh, yeah, Kermel Moulton's there too. Yeah, um, Kermel Moulton said that Canelo's time has passed, y'all. This is the David Benavidez era, and he will be too. There go Chris right there. He will be way too much for Canelo Alvarez. He's getting a lot of hate for that, but you know what? Even though he getting a lot of hate, y'all going to steady watch the man. Kermel Moulton is absolutely right. The, the Canelo era is over with, y'all. The Canelo era is over with. It is the David Benavidez era of boxing. Canelo Alvarez is a disgrace to boxing. Living my best life with C. Baller. Yeah, Carmela's there, Jahan Ingram there, Alicia Baumgartner's in the crowd. Oh, he showed me everybody who's there. But uh, shout out to Jahan Ingram. He knocked out Rolly too. She has it looking like a whole snack. My wife is probably watching the wood, so I cannot comment on that. She be too tuning in, so even though. But uh, God bless her, man. And I, I think she would dog walk Alicia Baumgartner like, like stand over her, like you know what I mean, like beat her out the ring, like hit her and uh bomb gun or fly out the ring. But I hear you, Dewood, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, hey, Dewood. Yeah, Sh shout out to the goat. Shout out to the goat. Shout out to the goat. It's all good, Dewood, bro. Yeah, you, you try to get me fucked up over here, huh, bro? <laughs> the was like, hey, she gorgeous, ain't she, South Paul? My wife upstairs, like I was watching your live at about two minutes and forty three seconds. What, what you had said about Clarissa T-Rex Shields, I'm going to be like, nothing. I ain't say nothing. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing, man. She be mad at see, but She probably mad that I'm even talking about this. She probably going to, you know what I mean? This fight is free on Sky Sports. Is it Mason? Fights are usually free in the UK and Canada anyway. Yeah, Maria, right? Yeah, she probably upstairs. Like, I heard that one part when the woods said that Christian Shields was gorgeous and you agreed. What's up with that? I'm going to be like, huh? What part? <laughs> hey, baby, if you watch, uh, 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 I love you. I love you. <laughs> the doesn't think, yeah, Richards and Hitchens think he a gangster slash boxer. I mean, I don't know if he still feel that way, but, uh, hey, yo, you, 
Hey, the boy, you funny as hell, bro. But um, I think in terms of boxing, she, she crushes uh, Bob Gardner. California boxers are the best. Andre Ward is is the best boxer out of California, bro. But uh, I think you're trying to troll me, so your bitch ass got to go. Hold on, hold on. Not you, not you, not you, not you. Hey, yo, somebody block. Hey, yo, uh, moderators, block this guy. Please get him up out of here. Moderators, block him. Because I can see if you was respectful, but I, is the old female Lopez in the locker room? Richards and Hitch is about to walk out. Ray Bama beginning. Yo, stop, Paul. That dude, Ray Bama beginning Canelo Alvarez fans mad. I hope Karina not here. I have some ammo in here. Have some ammo for Southpaw. What's up, uh, Karina? Cool. She a moderator. I hope Karina not in here. Have some ammo. Nah, Karina cool. She is she a cool mom. She know her boxing. She like a real she a real person. Why? Uh, you got beef with my moderator, bro? Are you trying to disrespect Karina because she is not here right now, bro? What you gotta say about Karina, bro? I mean, she a cool moderator. He from NYC, Big Mouth. I hope Karina. Okay. Yo, Karina, if you happen to see this, that's it's up to you if you want to block him, man. He disrespecting you even though you're not him. That do Ray Bama a tank hater too. Oh, is he? Okay. He would say, yeah, you know what? I think he just trying to start some bullshit up in here, bro, on, on that post. Um, I don't know too much. I can't. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think a lot of clowns on Twitter... Like uh, like like Ray Jackson say, a lot of clowns on Twitter. Ninety five percent of boxing Twitter, y'all don't know shit about boxing. Twitter gotta be the. Hey, I thought TikTok was a lame place, bro. Twitter got a bunch of motherfuckers who don't know shit about boxing. Never threw a punch. Never gonna throw a punch. None of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hitches from NYC. Yeah, bro. I, I remember he was gonna fight Montana Love. He, he was wolfing with Montana. He uh they they walking out right now. The Raw No Protection t-shirts will be in the store later on tonight. My wife is finishing that up in the store. Raw No Protection t-shirts will be out tonight. So those of y'all who want one, y'all can get one in the store. Um, but yeah, Ayo Dewood, I'm gonna show you what I did to buddy. I hit him with four body shots and he wants to go throw up. And everybody like, yo, run to the garbage can. But yeah. He threw up, cause that's how I get down. Richardson Hitches look like he needs to go up. He look drained as hell, right? Ronald protection. <laughs> yeah, Richardson Hitches. He looks super drained. This is Gustavo Lemos. They say he tough. They say he's super tough. Put the link up, homie. The link up for what? You talking about this? Nah, it was on. It was on somebody Instagram, but uh. Oh, yo, the wood, it was on somebody's Instagram, and I don't want to put them out there like that. You know what I mean? Link for the, oh, the B. Diddy shirts? Oh, shit, you right. You right. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, the B. Oh, man, you know what? I'm going to do that. My bad. Yo, yo, uh, the B. Diddy shirts. Yeah, shout out to um buddy who cussed out Bill Haney. He sent me the link for the shirts, and uh, I got to put them up, y'all. What they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Come on, where they at? 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 Now I gotta hit Buddy back up. Yo, yo, hold on, hold up. Who's that? Oh, Big Fendi. Big Fendi. Big Fendi. Send that link for the shirts again. For them shirts. He put a send it to me right now. He said you can't put out on IG. No, no, you good, bro. I'm not saying that. Oh, uh, the wood. But a uh, big Fendi, the one who was cussing out Bill, he um he made the link. He gave me a link for the shirts. I'm um, he gonna send it to him right now. I just hit him up. Yeah, yeah. B Diddy was with the free hey, B Diddy didn't have a Rico charge. He had a Frico charge. I like that. I don't know why that shit's so damn funny, bro. <laughs> hey, he got indicted on on Frico charges, bro. Here come Richards and Hitchens. It's empty up in that motherfucker, right? Because Richards and Hitchens is not a draw. That hey, I'm old, bro. So I used to watch Martin when I was little. Um, yeah. Yo, Tyrese from two one seven. I never been dropped this far, bro. 
But I got a feeling you that Tyrese the GOAT guy. Hey, yo, moderators. Yo, moderators. If this man, yo, yo, do what? Do me a favor. Dominican me. Life of Bobby. Do me a favor. Check this account. If this guy made his account in 2024, please block him. Tyrese from 217. Dominican me, Baldwin, can you check this man's account before we get started? If he made his account in 2024, let me know and block him. Because that motherfucker, like, he, he's a, I think he like a homosexual or something, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's up with this guy. He makes 100 accounts because he like a fan of me. Can y'all check them? Can y'all check this account and let me know if he made it in 2024? Moderators, let me know. How you feel about Oscar laughing about Royal? I made a video on that, bro. Check my videos. I made a video on that about Oscar laughing. Yeah, he did. Thank you, Dominican me, for blocking that, that motherfucker. Blocked his ass. Hey, yo, Tyrese, bro. When you when, when, when you gonna get the hint, bro? When when you gonna get to understand, bro? I don't like you. I don't fuck with you, bro. I think you're corny. I think you're lame. You lame as hell. You 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 always on another man's live trying to get noticed. Do you not get no hoes, bro? I like women. You know what I'm saying? I'm married you know, to a female, bro. I think you like men. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. You steady making accounts so I can see you. You trying to get attention like, like, like a prostitute, bro. Real shit, bro. Your mama raised a bitch. Respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Your mama raised the B-I-T-C-H, bro. You make, he makes a hundred accounts trying to get seen, bro. He like uh he's like 20 years old, bro. Um black as hell. He look like Akon. He goes around boxing. He, uh, he gets his ass whooped every single day as problem. He gets dropped every single day, bro. But he's he want my attention. I don't know why, bro. Straight, straight and lame, bro. Like no hoes. No female in her right mind will look at him twice. But he's already trying to get my attention, bro. So Tyrese, bro. You will always get blocked on my channel. You get no hoes, bro. You get no hoes. Like, he a groupie. Adrian, he is a groupie, bro. Like, I think he want an SMD, bro. Like, he he funny like that, bro. Like, he on some little Nas X type stuff. All right, here we go. The main event is about to start. He look like he look like Akon or Dress, bro. He weird as hell, bro. He just weird. He gets no hoes. No hoes. Like, no female likes the guy. Um, Yeah. He, he the type to pay for OnlyFans and shit, like, I don't know. Premium Snapchat is like he's freak ass mother. Let's go. <clears throat> I earned my monster drink because I did great in sparring today. Lemos is wearing that attire that people wore in the Canelo fight. I like that. My stream is slow. Y'all may know why. I, I don't know why. Oh, Mr. Lemos is undefeated. What is my prediction for the fight? I don't know, but um, I think Richardson Hitchens should get the job done. But if Lemos knocks him out, I would not be mad. I would not be mad if Lemos knocks him out. Let's go, Gustavo Lemos. I don't know who he is, but I'm rooting for the man. Richardson Hitchens is a good boxer. I'm not going to lie. But um, I don't know. It's something about dude, bro. He looked like he scratched his face and smell his finger. Shadow nine three nine three on Rumble. I see your comment, bro, and you right. Shadow nine three nine three. I'm on that, bro. I'm on that. Trust me. Wonder if if Hitchens got a chin. I don't think he does, bro. I think Richards and Hitchens is a B I T C H H H H. That's what I think he is. I think Richards and Hitchens um. Soft as hell, bro. T uh, typical lame, bro. Benavidez got to lay off the booze. I heard Benavidez was drunk up in that motherfucker, bro. That's what Jahan told me. He's like, yeah, Benavidez here drunk as hell. He probably going to start some Empty ass arena because Richardson Hitchens is not a draw like Devin Haney. Richardson came up with Tank. I know, Red, Richardson Hitchens and Tank is cool, but he also came up with Shakur too, bro. And he turned his back on him because he's a typical, you know, a, a New York rat. Richardson and Hitchens. Here we go. Gustavo Lemos looks like he's super tough. Gustavo Lemos got way more muscle on him. Richardson Hitchens is long, you know, look like he's sharp. Here we go. Scratching your face and smelling your fingers. Craig Carlos de Aguila. Richardson Hitchens scratches his face for an hour and smells his finger. 
Gustavo Lemos looks like he in good shape. Who do I got? I don't know because I don't know who Lemos is. I'm just trying to see what happens. But if Richards and Hitches loses, I won't be mad. He a clown. Matter of fact, he was talking shit one time to me. Matter of fact, fuck Richards and Hitches, bro. I said, hey, let's go, Gustavo Lemos. Richards and Hitchens looks like he can't take a punch. He caught up on that glove. He backing up already. Gustavo Lemos is coming to fight. He coming in to the body right away. Hitchens and, Richards and Hitchens clenches up. Who uh, Gustavo Lemos got some, somewhat of a peekaboo back and forth, side to side type of style. Richards and Hitchens trying to buy some space against the ropes. It is only round one. Gustavo Lemos comes up with a jab. He's trying to court him to the ropes. Richardson Hitches is good at pivot sliding out. He he on he on the back with a lot. Richardson Hitchens clinches up again, ties him up again. Let's go, Lemos, right? I don't even know who he is, but Richardson Hitches thinks he a gangster. Richardson Hitches is reacting to every faint Gustavo Lemos is throwing at him. Nice jab from Hitchens. Richardson Hitches got him with a good jab, snapped his head back. Richardson Hitches is a uh, off the back foot, look like he is nice body shot from Gustavo Lemos. Richardson Hitchens off the back foot, trying to Gustavo Lemos trying to press him to the ropes. Richardson Hitchens is utilizing the ring. He's utilizing every inch of that ring. He got he's pawing the jab and he clinches up again, bro. He clinching up again. Lemos got some power, fast money. Yeah, look like he got a little bit of shoulder strength. Gustavo Lemos is coming. He not he not coming to let Richard. You see, somebody like Richards and Hitchens, they're used to dictating the pace of the fight. Richards and Hitchens, like a lot of great boxers, have the ability to make you fight at their pace. They slow it down with their movement. Gustavo Lemos is not going for none of that. He's going right at him with peekaboo style in a sense. Gustavo Lemos is coming to fight, y'all. He's undefeated. He does not know what it's like to lose. Richards and Hitchens trying to work off the jab, and he stays defensively away. He clinches up again. Does Richards and Hitchens got a glass jaw? Because it looks like he ain't trying to get hit at all whatsoever. I'm not saying it's cool to take shots, but it, every time Lemos get close, Richards and Hitchens clinch up. Lemos is working the body good. Wretched referee tells him keep him up. Gustavo Lemos, nice hook from Richardson Hitchens. He caught him. Gustavo Lemos, yo, Richardson Hitchens doubles up on a jab. He caught him with both of them. Yo, Cairo Messi, I don't know about all that, bro, but you might be right. I hope you're wrong. Yo, Gustavo, I mean, this Gustavo Lemos guy is coming to fight, y'all. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. That's round one for me. It just ended. My stream might be a little bit slow. Maybe one of y'all can tell me why. Let's go, Lemos. I don't give a damn. Bro, Richards and Hitchens. Hey, let me tell y'all something why I don't like Richards and Hitchens. Not only the fact that he was talking shit to me. I think Richards and Hitchens is your typical rat. You know what I mean? A typical Brooklyn rat. And if, if some of y'all are from Brooklyn, I think I got some Brooklyn moderators, bro. And this ain't no disrespect to y'all. Y'all probably the old school Brooklyn. He a rat. He a snake. He stabbed Shakur Stevenson in his back to go be cool with Javante Davis. Um, yeah, Richardson Hitchens. And he was talking shit to me. So, F Richardson Hitchens. I don't even know who Lemos is. But I'm hoping that he knock his whole ass out. Richardson Hitchens and one of them wannabe gangsters. Right. Ayo, Bawa, right. Um, he wanted them wanna be gangsters, bro. He wanted them who think I remember one time he was in Cleveland. Yo, hold on, round two. Here we go. Richards and Hitchens got a sharp jab. He wanna be painted as this boxer, boxer, but it don't look like it looks like he likes to pop a jab and, and jump out the damn way. When you box, you could jab and then come with something else and then get out the way. He's a one punch type of guy. Nice body work for Lemos, yo. He he got him with a good right hand. Lemos got a good right hand around the guard of Hitchens. Caught him. Gustavo Lemos does not know what it's like to lose. He coming to fight, y'all. Richards and Hitchens off the bat. Yo, hey, y'all see what I'm saying, right? Richards and Hitchens 
He's good at popping a jab, but he don't follow up. He got one jab, and then he get out the way. He keeps on holding Gustavo Lemos' arm. But Richardson hits there. Look, he off the back foot. He paws, and then he pop a jab, and then that's it. He don't follow up with shit. He just jab, get out the way. Jab. He fight a little bit like Devin Haney in a sense. Gustavo Lemos is working body shots, coming up over the top. He coming to fight. Richardson Hitches is coming to survive and land jabs. I don't like Hitches. You know what I'm saying? Once you talk about me, I'm never going to whoop for you. Nice jab from Richardson. Richardson Hitches does have a good jab. I just want to see something else. Hitches is whack. He popping a jab and he just jab, skip out the way. Jab, skip this way. He just has a jab. He reminds me of Devin Haney in a sense. Gustavo Lemos is coming to fight. Let's be real. Fighters who clinch and jab win their fights by UD. Yo, Richardson Hitches just got cracked, bro. Richardson Hitches is on the back foot stumbling. He clinching up. Yo, knock him the fuck up, bro. Once you talk about me, I hope you lose. It looked like Bridges and Hitches is one of them guys who don't like to get punched in his face. He's not like Javante there. You can punch Javante in the face and he'll say, all right, let's get it. Bridges and Hitches is uh, clinching up every single chance he gets. He's fighting like a hoe right now. Bridges and Hitches does not seem like he want to actually, he want to jab his way to a decision. And Mr. Gustavo Lemos does not care about getting hit. And those are very dangerous individuals. When a man does not care about taking a couple to land one, they are dangerous. They don't give a fuck what type of jab you got. They're going to eat them jabs and then counter you with some hard shit. Gustavo Lemos is in a building. Now he's with Southpaw for a second. He cornered Hitchens. Richardson Hitchens is officially running in this fight. You could tell he came up with Shakur Stevenson. Southpaw behind 30 seconds. Mike B12, I sure am because um, it be like that sometimes, bro. Next week, I'll be right on the money, though. Richards and Hitchens fight. Oh, man. King 14 on Rumble. I see your comment. I love your comment. I agree with that, bro. I, yo, King J, CJ on four. King, J, King CJ 14. Yo, Tank get punched in the face and he get mad. Clayton Holmes, you right. The Super Bowl champ, Clayton Holmes. If that's you, I could be wrong. He do the same thing to Haney. Bridges and Hitchens is just a watered-down version of Devin Haney. Jab, jab. You touch him, he going to clinch up. DJ Charner Prince. Let me he say Lemos is up on the scorecards. Shout out to DJ Charner Prince. Brooklyn, at it again. You right. It's cool, bro. I'm synced up. It's okay, bro. It's okay. Here we go. Round number <clears throat> three. Small-ass ring. Small-ass arena. Ain't, no, ain't nobody checking for these guys, bro. 2 old Lemos. I like that. I don't know you. 2 old Lemos. That's what I got it, too. Bridges and Hitchens has not won a single round. And I hope he get fucked up real shit. You talk about me. Uh, you talk about my channel. Um, I'm going to pray for your downfall because I am petty. And I'm a channel who is honest. Some channels be like, uh, oh, I'm not biased. Yes, the fuck you is. You're just too scared to say it. I am super biased. I don't like buddy. Let's go. Gustavo Lemos is pressing him. Clint Richards and Hitchens clinches up again, bro. Gustavo Lemos presses him. Richards Richards and Hitchens clinches up again. Back to the center of the ring. Gustavo Lemos got that Mike Tyson type of style, peekaboo, and he just, let's get it. Gustavo Lemos did not come the fuck around, y'all. He came to inflict pain. He is trying to hurt Richards and Hitchens. Richards and Hitchens is not trying to hurt Lemos. He is trying to outpoint Lemos, and it's not working for him. Like Floyd told Devin one time, sometimes you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to fight. You're going to have to fight. Hey, yo, somebody check this account. Check that account. If they made it today, block them. If not, let them ride. Gustavo Lemos has a nice body shot. Richardson hits a steady off the back foot. He's steady clinching up, bro. Yo, yo, they need to start showing the track scene. Right. Gustavo Lemos is landing overhand rights in the clinch. Nice hook from Gustavo Lemos. Richardson Hitches backs up. He clinches up again. 
Hit that like. Hitchens is trash, bro. Yo, Bowen. Richards and Hitchens is straight garbage, bro. Straight trash, bro. He's so trash, bro. Richards and Hitchens is just straight garbage, bro. The true definition of what trash is, bro. Like, straight hole. You know what I'm saying? Like, his mama raised the BIT. Nice overhand from Gustavo Lemos. Whoever he is. Another overhand. Another overhand. He missed it. Richards and Hitchens is not fighting scared. He's trying to counter and clinch. Yeah. Shakur is somewhere cracking up right now. Basura, right. Bridges and Hitches is just trying to push him off now. Bridges and Hitches, we officially see the man's weakness. He does not now. He does not know how to keep a, a pressure fighter off of him. Everybody got a weakness. Every yo, overhand from Lemo. Bridges and Hitches is losing this fight, y'all. I don't care what y'all say. We officially have found out what Richardson Hitch's weakness is. It is a pressure motherfucking fighter who does. Yo, Gustavo Lemos is just under the overhand. Richardson Hitch's is running for his life. He's going to get beat down tonight. DJ Chandra Prince. We finally found out Richardson Hitch's weakness. Don't y'all ever compare it to. Hey, you know what? Motherfuckers like this make Devin Haney look like he's good. Devin Haney, as much as I don't like the man, I got to be honest, y'all. At least Devin Haney tries to fight you. Devin Haney won't do this shit. He'll try to fight you. He'll, do, he'll, he'll put at least two together. Richards and Hitches is jabbing, running, and clinching. This guy makes Devin Haney look like Mike Tyson. Like real shit. Devin Haney at least tries to fight in spots. Richards and Hitchens has done nothing. Nada. He made Devin Haney look like Mike Tyson. Before the day need to throw a towel. <laughs> hey, yo, Adrian. Adrian said, hey, I don't know about that, bro, but man, Puff Daddy and B Diddy. Richards and Hitchens on the back foot again. Gustavo Lemos. I don't know who this man is, bro, but he's winning this fight. I don't know who he is, but I like his style. Running like a motherfucker. Overhand from Lemos, Richard Hitch's backs up, clinches up again. Clinches up again. He looks drained like Michael Jackson on the. Yo, Gustavo Lemos landed a straight two to the body. Nice body work from Lemos. You see, Gustavo Lemos is doing the right thing. When somebody clinch up, push him off and work that body because it's the only thing you got open. Nice straight left from Gustavo Lemos. Body shot from Gustavo Lemos. Hitches has a short uppercut, didn't really do too much. Richards and Hitchens trying to push him up and pop a jab. Gustavo Lemos got the high guard coming towards him with that peekaboo style. It's working from jab, jab from Richards and Hitchens. First time he threw two punches. Gustavo Lemos just switched southpaw right back to Orthodox. Nice body work from Gustavo Lemos, bro. I don't know who this dude is, bro, but this motherfucker tough as shit. He one of them tough ass Argentinians like Marcos Maidana. Marcos Maidana did not have a pretty style, bro. He relied off toughness and aggression. That's that's what that's what I see from Mr. Lemos. He tough as shit, bro. He just he has he does not care about getting hit. He cares about inflicting pain. He is not a boxer, he is a fighter. And that's a big difference. Those motherfuckers can be very, very dangerous. If you are not a super slick boxer. Hey, yo, Tata Goya, thank you. Nobody even knows Lemos, but let's go, Lemos. Tata Goya, thank you for the cash, Chef Tata Goya. I don't know Lemos, bro, but I like the guy's style. He, he's fighting. He's coming like, yo, I don't give a fuck who you is. I'm going to beat you the fuck up. He coming to fight. You got to respect the fighter sometimes. You know how they say, in boxing, you bang the boxer and you box the banger. You know what I'm saying? Gustavo Lemos is coming to bang up the boxer. He don't give a fuck about playing tip for tap. He coming to attack. And Richardson Hitchens clinched up again. I hope they don't rob this man. Because as as uh, as of right now, I got Gustavo Lemos winning every single round. He hasn't lost. Yo, nice check hook from Richardson Hitchens. Lemos ate it. It looked like he got a chin. Unless Richardson Hitchens don't hit that hard. Richardson Hitchens just took a deep ass breath as he backed up. He is getting he is getting um mentally fatigued, y'all. If you box, type up a yes real quick. Boxers only. Let's go, Lemos. 
Yo, fuck him up, bro. You don't talk about me on your live, bro, talking like you a gangster, bro, because if I seen you, bro, um, it's all good. Nice body word. Richard Hitchens just said, oh, and that's the round. Hey, um, you know how when you box to somebody who got um less experience than you, you could make them tired just by fainting at them, just by, yo, just, you know, just faint, like act like you, they, they thinking too much because they don't have as much experience. Or if you hit him with a, you crack him with a good shot and they feel it. After that, you could just faint like you're gonna throw that same shot and they like, yo, just did they uh right now Richardson Hitchens is he just took a deep breath, like he just like he don't want he not trying to feel them body shots no more. Gustavo Lemos has invested to the body beautifully in this fight to the point where Richardson Hitchens, he not taking deep breaths. All that early body work invested by Gustavo Lemos is gonna pay off in the later rounds. You making deposits for later. Gustavo Lemos, shout out to his coaching team. They doing the right thing against a, a boxer with a quote unquote pretty style like Richards and Hitches. I think he trash, but you know, like uh, the style that he's presenting. Triple up on the jab for Richards and Hitches. Gustavo Lemos, he says something too right now. He, he says something like, go ahead. Gustavo Lemos is talking shit to him. He's like, he's like, what, what, what? And Richard Hitchens is not saying nothing back. That means he is intimidated. Even Floyd will talk shit back to you. Richard Hitchens back on a jab. We're going to see if he got dog in his heart. And it don't look like Richard Hitchens got dog in his heart, bro. He's like Devin Haney. He clinches up when he gets in trouble. Hey, I'm glad real boxing fans know, know who the real dogs are in boxing, bro. You, yo, nice two one from Mr. Lemos. He said he said two one one, and he caught him with all three. Gustavo Lemos is winning this fight, bro. Richardson Hitchens has not done enough to convince me, and hopefully not the judges, that he is a worth. I mean, he don't. Yo, nice nice hook from Gustavo Lemos. Richardson Hitchens is trying to find the jab, and he, it's not working for him. Richardson Hitchens clinches up again. You could tell who the real dogs are in boxing based off how they react to adversity. Richards and Hitchens is not reacting good to adversity. He clinching up like a hoe. He did, yo, nice hook for overhand right from Lemos. Let's go, Lemos. Uh, ref said, don't do not hit him in the leg. Gustavo Lemos got he got that Mike Tyson back and forth of peekaboo shit. Richards and Hitchens is off the back foot again. You could tell that Gustavo Lemos don't give a damn about looking pretty. He got an ugly style, man, but once a motherfucker don't care about looking good, he just trying to inflict pain, he going to hurt you. Bridges and Hitches last two jab, Gustavo Lemos smiled at him, and he said like this. He said, let's get it. Bridges and Hitches clenches up again. Like I said, you could tell who the real knife, hey, A.O. Bridges landed up straight, and then a hook to the body. Gustavo Lemos is answering back with hooks. Uppercut overhand. Nice overhand for Lemos. Hitches answers back with two jabs. Gustavo Lemos is actually cutting off the ring, bro. A lot of fighters do not do that. Some guys just chase you around a circle. Gustavo Lemos is meeting Bridges and Hitches where he think he's going to be. Cutting off the ring beautifully. You cannot run for this man because he knows how to cut. When a fighter knows how to cut off the ring, he going to get to you. Gustavo Lemos, nice body work from Gustavo Lemos. Gustavo Lemos working that body. He just banged him, bang. He trying to clinch up. Straight left from Gustavo Lemos. Overhand right from Gustavo Lemos. Richards and Hitches is running back again. And that's the round. Like I said, you can tell who the dogs are in boxing. Bro, if you see anything other than Lemos winning this fight, then you're stupid. And please unsubscribe, bro. Um... You could tell who the dogs are in boxing, y'all. Devin Haney is not a dog. When he gets hit, he clinches up. Javante Davis, when Mario Barrios was beating him on the scorecards, unofficial scorecards, Floyd Mayweather told Javante Davis, yo, you are down on the unofficial. Javante Davis said, what? He goes, yo, I'm just trying to look out for you, bro. You down on the unofficial. That next round, Javante Davis knocked, knocked down Mario Barrios twice. In the next round, he stopped him. That's a dog, bro. 
Richards and Hitchens. When he gets hit, he just clinches. He does not know how to react. That's how you know who the dog is and who Kermel Moten is a dog. He got hit and he fight back. Richardson Hitchens gets hit. Yo, you got five ball to what? I got five ball. It's five ball for me too, bro. I, I can't see nothing else, bro. Gustavo Lemos is going to the body again. Richardson Hitchens is just trying to clinch. Hitchens throws a jab, uppercut, and he clinching up again. Gustavo Lemos, he needs to keep going to that body. Keep going to that body. Hey, yo, Richards and Hitchens is a bitch. He's just steady clinching up. The referee said, stop holding. Stop holding this man. We do not, We did not know who Gustavo Lemos was before this fight, but after this fight, everybody, everybody going to know who Gustavo Lemos is. Headbutt, I saw that. Nice, yo, nice jab from Gustavo Lemos. He knows exactly how to... Yo, nice hook from Gustavo Lemos. Richards and Hitcher trying to... He just took another deep breath, and he's looking to hold again, bro. Richards and Hitchens is a motherfucking bum. He a bum. Nice overhand from Mr. Lemos. Mr. Lemos don't look like he got that much power, but he has a lot of output. Richards and Hitchens is not who, who, is not who y'all thought he was. Soft as kite. You right. Yo, nice shoe shot from Gustavo Lemos. He said, bop, 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 bop. Richards and Hitchens comes back with two jabs, three jabs, body shot from Richards and Hitchens. Richards and Hitchens got no power. Straight right from Richards and Hitchens. Nice hook from Hitchens. Jab. Gustavo Lemos, they tie up. One minute left in round number six. Gustavo Lemos got the high guard. He's stepping to him. Jab, jab, two. Hitchens pitches up. They swing back around to the uh, center of the ring. One, two for Hitchens. Triple jab, two for Gustavo Lemos. Two, one to the head. Two to the body, one to that for Lemos. Lemos is up close. Richards and Hitchens lands a two and then a three. Jab for Hitchens. Gustavo Lemos is still pressing forward. Hitchens clinches up again like a hoe. Gustavo Lemos is now starting to eat some more jabs. But he's steady going to that body. I think Gustavo Lemos needs to keep pressing to the body. Nice body shot from uh, Gustavo Lemos. Richards and Hitchens, jab to the body. One, two for Gustavo Lemos. He lands on the elbow. Double up on the jab for Hitchens. He's swinging back to the center of the ring. They tie up again. Another clinch initiated by Richards and Hitchens. Richards and Hitchens off the back foot. He jabs, he landed. He jabbed and he clinched like a hoe. Richards and Hitchens is a hoe. Richards and Hitchens off the back foot. Clinches up again, bro. How many times they gonna let this man clinch without giving him a, a, a holding warning? And that's the round. <clears throat> Put them hands up, Lemos. Yeah, he, he taking a few. There goes Alicia Baumgartner, the biggest letdown in the history of the sport of women's boxing. Alicia Baumgartner, I used to be a fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, the woman who tests positive for um, Mesterolone. Alicia Baumgartner got to be one of the worst female fighters in the history of the sport of boxing. Alicia Baumgartner is now training with the king of all deceivers, Mr. Bill Haney. Y'all may like her. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, she looked like she don't wash her feet. This is my opinion. I got a right to my opinion. It looked like her feet stank. You know what I'm saying? It looked like her toenails are bogus. You know what I mean? What up, some part? Yo, JC. Yo, uh, I better keep it respectful because uh, my moderator, JC, she, uh, you know what I mean? Hey, I respect you, JC. We were just talking about how we respect women on the channel, respect women's boxing. All right, here we go. Triple up on a jab from Richards and Hitchens. Quadruple up on a jab. It looked like Gustavo Lemos is taking a deep breath. <laughs> Y'all funny as a... Yo, straight two to the body. Hey, yo, JC. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> She's like, I heard you, motherfucker. No, no, nah, but I just don't like Alicia Baumgartner because she trained with Bill Haney. Respect to Carissa Shields, though. It's all good. Here we go. Yo, nice two to the head for, for Richardson Hitchens. And looks like they got a headbutt again. 
Richards and Hitches is trying to buy time. That's what he's trying to do. Gustavo Lemos look like he meant it, but they they back to it. Gustavo Lemos has switched to Southpaw. He's in a Southpaw stance now. First time he turned Southpaw in the fight. No, he back to Orthodox. He faint. He trying to step forward. Nice uppercut for Lemos. He missed it though. Richards and Hitches off the back foot. Gustavo Lemos is swinging to kill. He's swinging. He's going for the kill now. It is round number seven. Second half of the fight. Gustavo Lemos is looking to hurt this man. And Richards and Hitches is on his bike trying to survive off of jabs. That's not going to do it. Lemos, Maidana, right. Gustavo, uh, Gustavo Lemos, he kind of reminds me of Maidana. Uh, Argentinian, who's, who's a brawler. He's not a boxer. He just comes to hurt, inflict, inflict pain to the body. Richardson Hitchens is trying to find his jab, and it's not working no more, bro. He's trying to just touch and paw to find his jab, and it's not working no more. He, he's not snapping heads back like in his previous fights. Gustavo Lemos, hey, you pressure the pretty boxer. When you want to beat a pretty boxer, like most of them whose style is pretty, Step to him, step on his chest, and start beating up that body. Gustavo Lemos got the right game plan. Nice overhand, too, from Gustavo Lemos. Richardson Hitchens is trying to buy space, and he clinches up again. He said, Bill Hedder, he probably did. Richardson Hitchens, jab, got out the way. He fight off the back foot. Nice two from Richardson Hitchens. Clinches up again. I never seen so many clinches in my life, bro. Alicia Baumgartner try to make it in. Yo, Maria, you right, Maria. She probably been to the pool. You know what I'm saying? And she got hit. Raw no protection, allegedly. Yeah, but you right, Maria. It looked like, hold up. That's why Matias is going to do the Devin. Devin would never fight Matias, bro. De Devin, Devin is soft, bro. Like Hitchens. Nice overhand from uh, Lemos. Richardson Hitchens is losing this fight. I don't know what y'all have seen, bro. But it's to the point where he's he stopped fighting back. He is he's not he's throwing jazz back, but he's not throwing nothing that's gonna keep Mr. Lemos off of him. If Richardson Hitchens had power, do you think that Gustavo Lemos would be pressing forward? Let me ask you that again. If Richardson Hitchens had power, do you think that Gustavo Lemos would be pressing the way he is? Somebody type it up. If Richardson Hitchens had power. Would Gustavo Lemos be pressing? Riches and chicken. Thank you, Mike. If Riches and Hitchens could punch, Gustavo Lemos would not be pressing forward. He would be on the bike like Hitchens, bro. No motherfucking way. Riches and Hitchens got no power. He is a darker skinned version of Devin Haney. He a dark skinned Devin Haney. That's what I see. But I think Devin will try to fight back a little bit more. I, I don't see, but he, he clinches more than Devin. Devin clinches, but only when he hurts. Oh, yeah, he definitely losing this fight. And um, that's what he get for talking about me. If he if he could cut off the ring, yeah, you know, Gustavo Lemos was cutting him off earlier. Gustavo Lemos, nice overhand from Lemos. Richardson Hitchens look like he got a little bit of a chin. He just don't like to get hit on it. Nice jab from Hitchens. He working off the jab now, but nice overhand too from Nemo. Another overhand. And then Richardson Hitchens clinches up again. Richardson Hitchens. Yo, no, overhand too from Nemo. He hurt him. He hurt him. He holding on for his life. Richardson Hitchens is hurt. He hurt. He clinched it up again. He just holding. He just holding. Richards and Hitches is hurt. He is hurt. He is hurt. He hurt. Go, 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 go. Press him, press him, press him. He got him against the ropes. He let the overhead to the body. Hitches clinches up again. Richards and Hitches is trash, bro. Straight trash. He is hurt. He is wobbling. Gustavo Lemos. Just keep, yo, keep jamming. Go to the body and come with an overhand. Whenever you got a man hurt, go down and then go up. Bridges and Hitches got wobbly legs, y'all. And he had, look, look at his feet. He's hurt. This bitch is hurt. 
Look at Richards and Hitch's feet. He can't find his, he can't find the floor. Gustavo Lemos pressure has a fit. Nice uppercut from Lemos. Gustavo Lemos got him on Richard and Hitches throws a two. Weak as hell. Richards and Hitches weakness is he does not know how to fight going backwards. One, two from Richards and Hitches. One, two, three for Hitches. Richards and Hitches came back with a one, two, three. Nice overhand two from Lemos. Back to the center of the ring. Lemos got his chin down. He looked a little gas. Goes to overhand two. Body shots from Lemos. Richards and Hitches clinches up again like a hoe. Uppercut from Richards and Hitches on the inside. It looked like he might have wobbled Lemos now. But Lemos enters back with a left hook straight right hand. Got him on the ropes. Gustavo Lemos made Richards and Hitches clinch up again. You saw. Nice jab from Richards and Hitches. Nice body shot from Lemos. Y'all heard that. He said bang to the body. Richards and Hitches is doing everything he could to survive, y'all. Gustavo Lemos, body attack, body attack, overhand right, caught him. Richards and Hitches clinches up again, like a hoe. He chasing, hawking him down, that's the round. Good round for Gustavo Lemos, y'all. Hit that like button. Richards and Hitches, answer back correctly. I'm not gonna lie, he landed a nice uh, two, three, two, three. Two, three, two, three off the ropes, and he did catch Lemos with that. They show on the replay, it looked like Richards and Hitches was hurt that round though. When Lemos caught him with that straight left and then the hook, he wobbled like a motherfucker, but he did come back at the end of the round though. Richards and Hitches landed at 2-3-2. Two, two. Oh yeah, he, he got a good combo, but he was hurt. You're right, Troy, he was hurt. The last of this fight is going to de determine a lot. We are round number nine. Now it's all hard. We, they both a little tired. They both a little punched out. We going to see who got a dog in their heart. The fight starts right now, if you ask me. Round number nine is when the dog got to come out. We're going to see who got that dog in their blood. Richardson Hitchens starts off working off the jab. Gustavo Lemos is still pressing forward. Richards and Hitchens trying to get to the center of the ring. Jab, jab for Richards and Hitchens. One, two, three. Clinches up like a hoe. Richards and Hitchens steady clinching up, bro. Lemos steady pressing forward. Richards and Hitchens does not have enough power to keep Lemos up off him. Richards and Hitchens clinches up again. He don't got no dog in his heart, I'll tell you that. Nice uppercut to the nice uh, uppercut to the body for Lemos. Hitches clinches up again. I never seen somebody clinch so much, bro. And yo, Gustavo Lemos is laughing the word. He's smiling. Look at him. He's smiling. Gustavo Lemos got that peekaboo style, which is rare. Nobody really be Lemos is trolling him. You right, Gustavo Lemos. That peekaboo style works, bro. Lemos is laughing at the man. Yeah, you're right. Gustavo Lemos is laughing at the man. He like laughing for real. Hold on, hold on. Lemos is laughing. Richards and Hitches is fighting with his mouth open. It looks like he a little gas. It clinches up again. Hey, Richards and Hitches clinching is, is annoying, bro. He ain't got no dog in his motherfucker heart, bro. He a hoe. Like real shit, bro. Like, Richards and Hitches, I didn't know he was this much of a hoe. I didn't know he was a hoe like this, bro. Like, he a hoe, bro. Like, the true definition of a hoe. Talking crazy, talking about, uh, I, I came on his live on some bullshit. Oh, nice overhand right from Lemos. Another overhand right. Gustavo Lemos is talking to him, laughing. Nice overhand three and a two for Lemos. Richards and Hitches throws a three, clinches up. Nice uppercut from Richards and Hitchens. He did land that nice uppercut right there. Richards and Hitchens, he ain't got no dog, I'll tell you that. Nice one, two, three from Lemos. Uppercut from Lemos. Richards and Hitchens clinches up again, bro. 
Nice body shot for Lemos. Overhead, yo, nice left hand from Lemo. Bridges and Hitches is on a bike again. Jab, yo, 187 mix. Thank you for the five dollars on the cash app. Yeah. Bridges and Hitches about to go down. Thank you, Mig, on the cash app. I appreciate you, bro. What happened, right? What happened? That's the round? Oh, that's the round. Another round for Lemos. Richards and Hitchens was talking crazy to me, bro. He, uh, what did he say? I spoke about Shakur Stevenson, um, his girl. I did. And then he's like, yo, South Park, come to the live. I was trying to ask. He added me to the live, but then his shit was like, he had like bad service. But um, he had an issue with me talking about Lyric Michelle, with, uh, Shakur Stevenson girl. I believe she got ran through. I got to write to my opinion. I have no proof of this. I just think she an industry thought. That's that's what I had said. But now he not even cool with Stevenson. So all that shit he was talking to me, and I knew he was a hoe. I was like, you the type to get hit and just clinch up. And, he, and I was right. I did several videos. I did like 30 videos on this guy. I said, he looked like if you touch him, he going to clinch. I was right. Yo, nice, nice body shot, nice body work for Lemos beginning of the round. He come up with he come up with some nice body work. Richard Hitchens working off the jab. Yo, nice hook from Lemos. Beautiful leg hook, left hook from Lemos. Richard Hitchens clinches up like a hole again. Gustavo Lemos is trying to press forward. Richard Hitchens does not have the power. He throws a one, two. Gustavo Lemos caught it on the glove. Gustavo Lemos pressing forward. One, two for Lemos. Richards and Hitchens clinches up again. Yo, uh, Carlos right hook boxing. I got Lemos winning easily. One, two. Yo, nice two for Richards and Hitchens. He snapped Lemos' head back. It looked like Lemos got a chin. He's still fighting the same. Gustavo Lemos got a chin, y'all. Yo, nice one, two, three for Lemos. Nice hook for Richards and Hitchens. They are fighting. It's a good fight right now. They are both trading. Richards and Hitches. There's a one, two, uppercut. Clinches up again like a hole, but Richards and Hitches is fighting back now. It, it's, it's round 10. He's just not fighting back. Clinches up again. I knew it wouldn't have lasted long. The uppercut to the body. Body shot for Richards and Hitches. They in a clinch. Uppercut for Richards and Hitches. Richards and Hitches is trying to put his head against Lemo's head. It's a trick you could use against the ropes. It works. Where, where you put your head against the guy's chin to kind of control what he's looking. It's a, it's, it's a dirty boxing tactic, but I can't lie to you. It works. They back to the center of the ring. Richards and Hitches looks like he punched out. Yo, nice two, three from Gustavo Lemos. Richards and Hitches answers back with a two of his own. He pressing Lemos against the ropes now. Uppercut for Lemos. Two. Two for Lemos. Richards and Hitches clinches up again. He One, two for Hitches. Lands it. Richards and Hitches is doing a lot better in this round. He landed a one, two, three, but he clinches up after every combination. He lands a one. He throws a one, two, three, and then he clinches. Lemos is more experienced with, in dog fights. Yo, the wood. He more experienced with this type of fight. Richards and Hitches never fought this type of fight. Gustavo Lemos is still working that body. Nice hook from Richards and Hitches. He caught him right there. Jab for Richards and Hitches. And he clinches up. Richards and Hitches is, yo, nice overhand for Lemos. And Hitches on a bike. Gustavo Lemos pressing, and that's the round. Richards and Hitchens did better in this round, but I don't think he did enough. I, it's the zone, and he the favorite, but Gustavo Lemos is undefeated, so you're going to have to give the man a, 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 fair, a fair shake. As of right now, the wood, I'm going to have to go with you, the wood. I think Richards and Hitchens might have got that round. I'll give him that one. Well, Gustavo Lemos is clearly winning the fight. 
If you, I'm, I'm live now on Rumble too. If you on Rumble, give me a thumbs up on Rumble. How do I score, it? Mr. Fiance? I'm with the wood, bro. Um, I got the wood on that. I got, I snide one Gustavo Lemos. You know, I got a nine one Lemos. Richie said Hitchin is, is he soft, bro. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like his his heart pump Kool Aid. Oh, he pee sitting down type shit. I don't like Hitchin. His his mama raised a hoe. <clears throat> Overhand two from Mr. Lemos. Richardson Hitchens clinches up again. Body shot, body shot. Hook from Lemos. Richardson Hitchens throws a jab. Nice hook from Lemos. Richardson left hand, right hook from Lemos. Gustavo Lemos is still pressing the action. Richardson Hitchens throws a jab, clinches up. Nice left hand from Gustavo Lemos. You see, Richardson Hitchens, it's not that he don't, it's not that he got a glass jaw. You say Hitchens hurt. One, two from Lemos. Another two. Richardson Hitchens is just looking like he's trying to survive, y'all. He's just trying to survive. One, two from Hitchens. Richardson Hitchens off the back foot throws a one, two, and then another two. One one from Hitchens. Off the back foot. Gustavo Lemos present. Jab from Hitchens. Two jabs from Lemos. Richards and Hitchens back it up to the ropes. Body shot from Lemos. Richards and Hitchens is being what what's up with all that, bro? It looked like he tackled him to the ground. It looked like he tried to trip him. Richards and Hitchens just put his glove on his knee to get up. That means he's tired. He's looking at the clock. Don't ever look at the clock. Richards and Hitches is looking at the clock now, y'all. That says a lot. Gustavo Lemos is dominating this fight. Gustavo Lemos is a dog, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. He don't give a fuck about getting hit. Tata Goya, you right. Richards and Hitches, it's just he gas, bro. He's breathing. He's fighting with his mouth open. Yo. One, two for Hitches. Gustavo Lemos is just, he's eating. Put this. this motherfucker got a chin. Gustavo Lemos got a chin. He got a chin. Uppercut hooks from Gustavo Lemos. Nice overhand right from Lemos. Richards and Hitchens is getting his ass whooped right now, and I'm loving every single second of it. Gustavo Lemos is very much still in this fight. Gustavo Lemos is just trying to press him to the ropes and beat on him. Richards and Hitchens circling around the ring. He just He's basically running and clinching, bro. I don't see him trying to win the fight. It's like he officially gave up trying to be, trying to be any type of aggressor. Hitchens throws a jab, clinches up again. Gustavo Lemos puts the forearm in his neck. Like, yo, back up, bro. The referee said, yo, don't use that forearm. One, two, three from Hitchens. One, two, three, two from Hitchens. Jab from Hitchens. Gustavo Lemos is cutting off the ring, which is a beautiful thing to do against a runner like Richardson Hitchens. They both fell. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they have fell earlier. They they back up though. Richardson Hitchens is breathing with his mouth open. Six five Lemos. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, Mr. Uh, CP3, he don't respect Hitchens. But you know what the word though. That's what you got to do to a quote-unquote boxer with a bigger name. Show him zero motherfucking respect. Don't let the name get to you. Who cares who he is, bro? You coming to kill that dude, bro. Argentina is a very poor country. So I think that like Marcos Maidana, this man is coming. He coming to kill. 10 to 1, Gustavo Lemos. This is the last round, y'all. Give me a thumbs up. I'm going to do a play-by-play. -play. Because it's the last round, we're going to see what he made out of right here. Here we go. Here we go. Gustavo Lemos comes out with a looping left hook. One, two from Lemos. Bridges and Hitches off the back foot. Jab from Bridges and Hitches. He does land it. Bridges and Hitches off the jab. Gustavo Lemos ducks under. It comes up with a jab. Richards and Hitchens circling off the back foot. He's trying to stay on the back foot. One, two from Hitchens. Gustavo Lemos has the peekaboo style still. Throws the left hand. Richards and Hitchens steady just trying to circle the ring. Back and forth. Gustavo Lemos throws a two. 
Hitches clenches up like a beast, like a B-I-T-C-H. Richardson hitches off the back foot, throws a jab, circles the ring. Gustavo Lemos is hawking the man down. Uppercut from Hitches. Gustavo Lemos lands a two and a three. Gustavo Lemos is looking to load up, y'all. He looking to go. He looking for a big shot. You can tell by his posture. He just waiting on a big overhand. Richardson Hitches can see it. Gustavo Lemos is trying to just make him think right now by the pressure. Nice two, three for Lemos. Another two. Another three. Richardson Hitches is clinching up again after he gets caught with two punches. Hitches is a hole, bro. Richardson Hitches is just clinching up. He's just trying to, he's trying to get to the end of the fight without getting knocked out. One, two, three from Hitches. He misses the three. One, two from Hitches. He lands that one. One to the body. Three. He lands the three from Hitches. One to the head for Hitches. Uh, Gustavo Lemo is trying to pressure him. Richardson Hitches clinches up again. You got a six five Hitches. 100 bands cash, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Hey, yo, somebody block 100 bands. Hey, yo, moderators, moderators, block this Richardson Hitchens dick eater. Yo, hey, yo, moderators, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Richardson Hitchens clinches up again. Yo, yo, what up, bro? Yeah, uh, Richardson Hitchens is, is a hoe, like Mr. 100 bands. You don't got 100 bands, bro. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm finna get you up out of here with your bitch ass. SMD. SMD. You hey, you saw for the hitches, bro. Get your dumb ass out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, you, hey, it's, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Block this ass, right? Coming out and talking about hitting you. Hey, bro. Motherfucker, you motherfucker smack you with an open hand. You want to call the police. Now, right, here we go. Gustavo Lemos lands a two to the body. Riches and hitches still running. 24 seconds left in the fight for me. Gustavo, uh, Richards and Hitches is just running, trying to land some pity pad jabs. Clinches up again. Again. One, two for Hitches. Hey, Gustavo Lemos is like, come on, bitch, let's fight. One, two for Hitches. One, one for Hitches. Gustavo Lemos is talking trash to the man. Say, let's fight. That's the fight, y'all. Who do y'all got in the fight? I got Gustavo Lemos. Unanimously, Gustavo Lemos. PR boxing. We live in the era of the excuse. And more than likely, if Richardson Hitches loses this fight, which I hope he does, the word you write, he's going to say, yo, it's time I move up. Because nowadays in boxing, I'm going to turn this low. Nowadays in boxing, a man just can't take a loss, bro. A man just can't say, yo, he was better than me. He always got to say, I think I need to move up and wait. I didn't have the right training camp. The weight cut was tough. I was eating motherfucking uh, steak tacos last night. I got into an argument with my girl. My my dog died. You know what I mean? It's always some type of excuse. He's going to blame the weight cut because he looked, he looked drained in that weight cut. But um, I had Lemos winning the fight. That, that's all I got to say. Not V talks to What's good, son, Paul? He going to blame the gloves? He going to blame the gloves? He going to blame anything and everything except his own physical ability, bro. I had Lemos winning the fight. I just hope they don't rob the man, bro. I hope he don't get robbed, bro. 9-3 Lemos. Tata Goya. You know what? I like that. I like that. Tata Goya. That's what I had it. We're going to see. Riches and Hitches did nothing but try to survive, bro. I hope they do not rob Lemos, bro. I hope they don't rob the man. I pray they don't rob the man. We're going to see. He landed some nice shots on the inside. Bro, he was, he was whooping that ass, bro, in the middle rounds. And Hitches just clenched up. Gustavo Lemos deserves this victory. They're going to give it to Hitchens. They probably is because the zone is backing him. He was Eddie Hearn. We're going to see. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here at the Fontainebleau, Las Vegas, Nevada, we go to the judges' scorecards. Thank <laughs> you.
Tim Cheatham, 117-111. Max DeLuca and Steve Weisfeld both score this bout 115 to 113. All three are your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated, Richardson Hitchens. 117-111. He's getting booed, and it's clear why, bro. That motherfucker ain't win that fight. And I bet you he will not give him a rematch. Uh, Richard Hitchens is holding up the man's hand. I don't know, man, but shit like this makes me hate the sport of boxing, bro. You know, I, I love boxing, but shit like this make me hate the sport of boxing, bro. It make you not want to watch boxing no more, bro. You know what I mean? Like, the motherfucker got his ass whooped the whole fight. To Richardson Hitchens, and I wonder if he's gonna. Well, let's just hear what he has to say. Chris, take it away. Richardson, congratulations. You had to dig deep to win that fight, a close fight throughout. How confident were you when that final bell rang that you had won the fight? I felt like I, I felt like I won the fight uh, unanimously. It was a close fight. I made it close some rounds when I gave him some right. Your bitch ass and, You know, I stood there and trade with him because. My corner kept telling me, like, the fight is close, but I felt like I was out boxing, laying the cleanest shots, and boxing smart. But he was tough, undefeated 29 and 0 in his prime, and he came over here to win. He came in shape. He, he came to my country to win, and I felt like I won. But, you know, he in my country, so they're going to try to say he got robbed or whatever. It's cool, but I felt like I won easily. That was a good fight, though. You've dealt with pressure fighters before. What made his pressure different? He was get, he was short. He was, he, had, he was real powerful, and, uh, you know, he, he was he was relentless. He went to win. So it is what it is. And nobody want to lose their O, especially somebody 29 and 0. I was only 17 and 0. Now I'm 18 and 0. It's just a learning experience. Just still growing. This is my this is my first active solid hit in boxing since I got with Matchroom. So notice how he's making excuses. He just said it was a learning experience. We, we had a world championship now. I dig deep and I and they wanted to see me in a tough fight, see if I had that dog in me. Did I show I had that? You did show yet. Okay. The last fight was an dog. Get your bitch ass out of here. He made excitement. He caught me with some good shots. I caught him with some good shots. And we gave the fans what they wanted. So you had the second half of the fight. You took a couple of clean shots. I think it was the eighth round of that fight. It looked like you had your hurt uh, to, towards the end of that round. Did you feel hurt any time during this fight? I mean, no, nah, not really. He caught me with a good shot. And it, it take more than just one good shot to, make, to you know, win a fight. I, I caught him with some good shots, too. You know, it is what it is. What do you take away from a fight like this against a pressure fighter? Because what's coming next, or what could be coming next, is another pressure fighter. What do you take away from that? You got to be in shape, and you can't underestimate nobody. I mean, I knew Lemos was going to come. It wasn't. I knew it wasn't going to be an easy fight. People were saying it's going to be an easy fight. It's telemade, but I know his style was telemade for my style. Some a come forward fighter that's going to make it ugly. But like I said, we got the W, and. It's on to the next. He was throwing a lot more punches than you were. Maybe not landing with the accuracy, but he was throwing a lot. Were you concerned that the judges were going to see that? No, I, I felt I was laying the cleanest shots, and I was getting, I was playing the cleanest shots and making sure all his flurries wasn't really landing. You know, I was tying him up, turning him, uh, uh, neutralizing him. But it was a good fight. It is what it is. I felt like I wanted a good fight versus a solid fight. This is what the people came here to see, and this is what they, they got the show they wanted. You are now next in line for Super Real Matias' IBF world title. He's going to come back on June 15th on DAZN against Liam Paro. Do you believe you should be the next guy he faces? I feel like whoever is the winner of the fight, uh, that fight, whoever is the winner of the, uh, the next, next the fight in the next two weeks, the WBC, that's the fight I want. I've been telling the fans that, uh, you know, I mean, I, I just, my team know what's going on with me. My team know my issues or whatever. We that we we gonna go back to the drawing board, talk to it as a team. But I felt like I could have definitely put on a better performance. But I knew that tonight I wasn't gonna come come in a hundred percent, and I know the reason why. But like I said, I still got it done like a true champion. What was the reason why? I'll leave it. I'll talk to my team about it, and maybe next time I'll over coffee, send me and talk about it too. <laughs>
I want to thank all the fans back in New York, all the fans in, in uh, you know, all the fans that came out to watch me. Shut your that bitch ass up. Your, your mama's a bitch. Fuck your dead grandma. Excuse my language, y'all. Yeah, uh, that was that was probably well, more, uh, one of the worst robberies I've ever seen in my life. Um, he said he wants the winner of uh, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. I think Devin Haney will beat the shit up, buddy. At least Devin tries to fight. Um, yeah, a very disgraceful uh, judging. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, uh, horrible, horrible, horrible judging. I did not see that man win the fight, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit like this makes you hate boxing. You know, you love boxing, but then you hate it because it's shit like this. I didn't even know who Lemos was. So you can't say I was biased. To, I don't even know who the fuck he was. But he did win that fight. You know, yeah, straight, straight whole shit. Uh, one seven. Hey, yo, thank you, yo, uh, Lurch Dog, whatever. That and who, who the hell would score like that? One seventeen. So what they're trying to say is that he dominated in, in that wide of uh, wide of margin, bro. Yeah, shit like this makes you hate boxing. The fight wasn't even close. You know what I mean? Richardson Hitchens probably won a good three rounds. I'll give him that, but ain't no way. It was a 117, 111. Get y'all dumbass out of here, bro. Insane, man. Hold up. Uh, yeah. Um, I I'll do a video on it. You know what I mean? It regardless. Thank you, Chad. Thank you for the cash apps, y'all. Hold up, hold up. Admin Dada. He said, do you think Pacheco looked like trash tonight? Admin Dada, Pacheco didn't look so impressive, bro. Pacheco did not look so impressive. Migs, uh, stay blessed, my boy. About to go. Hitch is about to put on. Thank you. Miggs, five on the cash app. Tata Goya. Nobody knows Lemos, but let's go, Lemos. Yeah, he got robbed. Thank you, Tata Goya. Five on the cash app. Rodrigo Rodriguez. God bless you and your family. Thank you on the cash app. Rodrigo Gutierrez. Adam and Dada says, Benavides is hanging with that fishnet. And he said, Devin is a beast. Adam and Dada, thank you for that cash app. Uh, Adam and Dada again. Oh, no, no, my bad. He say, Yo, private, say for Shakur or Devin. I gotta go with Shakur, even though I don't even like buddy like that. The Wood, thank you for the soft book on the cash app. Always, bro. And Shakira Twitterson, he just typed up Shakira Twitterson. My bad. Oh, private, Shakira Twitterson, thank you for the cash app. I appreciate you, bro. But um, yeah, that 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 has to go down as one of the worst robberies I've seen recently, bro. Get the new merch. Be the oh, hold up. Matter of fact, I gotta put the link for that. He sent me the link. Oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to copy the link to get the B. Hold on. I'm going to put it in the chat right now for the B Diddy T-shirts. Hold on, hold on. My bad. It's a buddy who was arguing. This man right here. I got y'all, bro. If you watch him, bro, this for you. Bro, you're not Bill no more. You're B no. Diddy. Hey, B Diddy. Hey, B Diddy. Hey, B Diddy. This hey, B Diddy. This is what I'm saying. Hey. B Diddy, this is what I'm saying about you. You just keep worrying about Tank. Y'all niggas love that nigga. Hey, you funny looking ass nigga. I bet you come up B Diddy. Ain't no B Diddy about me, nigga. Hey, B Diddy. 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 This is what I'm saying. Hey, B Diddy. This is what I'm saying. Hey, B Diddy. This is what I'm saying about you. You just keep worrying about Tank. Y'all niggas love that nigga. Hey, you funny looking ass nigga. I bet you come up B Diddy. Look at town. Ain't no B Diddy about. Jonathan Mary, thank you for the cash app. He say, "How rich is a hug more than Devin Haney?" Richards and Hitchens did hug more than Devin Haney. At least Devin tries to fight back. Devin will try to fight. He will try to fight. Hitchens did not even try. Well, you're right, bro. Uh, Mike Benavidez says, Lemos got robbed, bro. Mike Benavidez, you're right, bro. Uh, I saw Richards and Hitchens get beat the fuck up tonight. Excuse my language. About me, nigga. No, B Diddy, this is what I'm saying. B Diddy, this is hey. B Diddy, this is what I'm saying. Hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, this is hey. hey, B Diddy, this is what I'm saying about you. Just keep worrying about Tank. Y'all niggas love that nigga. Hey. B Diddy, this is 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 what I'm saying. About hey, B Diddy, this is what I'm saying. About hey, B Diddy, this is what I'm saying about you. Just keep worrying about Tank. Y'all niggas love that nigga. Hey, you funny looking ass nigga. nigga. What you talking B about? B Yo, um, thank you for the cash at Mr. Kassir Wilson. He say, did you see David Benavidez drunk as hell? And what is your thoughts? I did not see David Benavidez drunk, but um, 
uh, I got a call from uh, Jahan Ingram earlier. He said David was drunk as hell. Um, I cannot speak on that, bro. Do do I do I am I cool with drinking? I don't drink, so you know I I don't agree with him drinking. I don't agree with that. I'm not gonna say that. I think that's cool. Um, I uh, that's my thoughts on it. I don't agree with anybody drinking alcohol as a boxer. Um, I did not see that, but that is my thoughts. You know, hopefully he don't make it a habit. Um, I don't like any boxer drinking alcohol. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm not a fan of David Benavidez drinking alcohol. And it is what it is. I know a couple of his people from his gym follow me. It is what it is, bro. Um, I, I don't I don't agree with drinking. Hey, yo, really quick. Um, those of y'all, uh, do, do something nice for somebody. Uh, one thing I will say. Uh, all 500 of y'all. Um, yeah, do what I, I don't drink either, bro. I think uh, the last time I drank was years ago, and I got into a, a bar fight with my wife. Well, me and my wife was fighting in a bar, bro. It was in Philadelphia. It was in Philly, bro. I, I was drinking, and um, yeah, I started a fight at the bar, bro. We was it was it was ugly. Uh, do something nice for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know how they say even. Um, even poor people, you know, you know how poor people even, like give out money the most, even though they don't even have it. You know what I mean? Real talk, Southpaw, I thought you was going to be biased. Kassir Wilson, nah, bro. I don't agree with David Benavidez drinking. I think that it's, it's, uh, it's trashy. You know, David Benavidez is one of my favorite fighters, but I'm not going to lie about how I feel about alcohol, bro. I do not drink alcohol. That's just me. If you want to drink, God bless you. Um, I think drinking beer is trashy, bro. When I was little, I used to drink when, when, I, when I was little. When I was like a kid, bro, I used to drink and all that shit. But as a grown-ass man, as a father, as I'm older now, I'm going to be 42 next week. I don't I don't drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't – I think it's trashy to me. I think drinking is trashy. I think it's, uh, it's trashy to me, bro. And I have a right to my opinion. Y'all want to drink? Go ahead. Um – Nothing is worse than a woman who drinks beer. Um, you know, if uh, that's just my opinion. No, nothing is more trashy to me than a woman who is drinking a beer. That's my opinion, bro. Maybe some of y'all like, you know, them females who walk around with drinking cans of beer. That's trashy to me, bro. Uh, that's my opinion. You know what I mean? It's all good. Cardo says, I don't drink every day. It's all good, bro. Y'all could do you. That's... You know, this is the United States of America. But like I was saying, do something nice for somebody, bro. Um, do something nice for somebody. Even if it's the crackhead on the corner, give him five dollars. Even though you know he's gonna smoke crack, it's the thought that counts. Do something nice for or people less fortunate than you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we living in a time where they want to take God out of the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're taking God out of schools. You know. Uh, the world was better when God was part of it. Nowadays, we live in a times where you, you you literally see um, rainbow flags outside the White House. You, you literally got little boys pretending they're little girls, and they want you to accept their mental illness. I identify this very, very fucked up times we're living in, bro. Um, God needs to be more on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you, you literally got people... Um, just living all type of wrong, bro. And I think God needs to be more back into the earth, bro. Like real shit. Also, why don't you like Shakur in New Jersey? Um, I think Shakur Stevenson is a pussy. That's why, bro. And um, because like I said, this is the United States of America, and that's what I think, bro. I think he one of them boxers who tries to be a gangster. You cannot be a gangster and a boxer. Mike B say, yo, if a homeless person walks up. I give him 10 bucks if I got it. I always try to help out the little crackheads and bums when I come across them. Like, you know, me and my wife go somewhere, say, like, we go somewhere, we, we see them, I'll, I'll help them out. I know that I know they're going to go buy some rocks, but it's it's the fact that you did your part. You know what I mean? Shit ain't Shakur. Yeah, bro. Talking about, hey, yo, career Wilson, no, 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 no disrespect to you, bro, but I got to write to my opinion. I think Shakur a hoe. Like, the true definition of a hoe. Like, straight hoe. That's what I think, bro. You know what I mean? Like a hoe. Like the true definition of a hoe. A hoe. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, bro. I think uh, in the times we're living in now, we, we need to put God more back in our life, bro. You know what I mean? And um, 
I feel like all 500 of y'all need to hear that. The world has gone away from God, bro. Uh, in in uh, really heavily. You know what I mean? So um, if you have children, um, love them with all your heart. We are living in a fucked up time, bro. Um, yeah, if you have wives, love them with all your heart. Yo, MJ said, yeah, Democrats, right. And if y'all want I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Um, I got a question for y'all. I know my channel is not political, but I got a question for y'all. Who do you think was a better president? Joe Biden or Donald Trump? I, I think shit was more affordable and better when Trump was president. I respect your opinion, just not New Jersey as a whole. It's all good, bro. I'm sure there's great people from New Jersey. God bless y'all, bro. I'm just saying, but um, Shakura Ho, you good, bro. But uh, you good. Yeah, Donald Trump was definitely a better president because at least he believed in Jesus. Joe Biden got rainbow flags outside the White House, bro. And you know damn well y'all was doing better when Trump was president. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. You know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? Richardson Hitchens was underwhelming tonight. Yo, McGavick Boxing, he lost it if you ask me. He stayed ahead off the street. Joe Biden, yeah, bro. Uh, I will not, I will not, I will not. Um, you, you, you got the most important job in the world and you can't even finish a fucking sentence. I don't give a damn what nobody's talking about. That that man needs to be retired somewhere, bro. He said Trump obviously better, but you probably voted for Biden Sally. I never voted in my life. I never even voted, bro. I had felonies to where uh, I couldn't even vote. You know what I'm saying? What Shakur doing in the room of Berlanga with their shirts off? He's probably getting slammed into. You know what I'm saying? I just sent a request on IG, South Paul. You know what, bro? Hey, yo, uh, one thing, M Mr. Coda, bro. Hold up. Yo, Mr. Coda, bro. Hold up. Re really quick. Really, really, really quick. Really quick. Hold up. Uh, nah, you didn't. No, uh, no, you didn't. Yo, Mr. Coda. Oh, yeah, you did. Hey, yo, bro. Uh, Mr. Coda, bro. I, I see you, bro. I got nothing against you. Hold on. Let me just say this uh, really quick. Then I'll get up out of here. I got nothing against nobody, you know what I'm saying? But Instagram, my Instagram is private for a reason, bro. It's the reason I got 70,000 uh, subscribers on this, and I only have 85 followers on Instagram. Want to know why? Because I only want 85 followers. I don't let people follow me on Instagram, bro, because it's a lot of fucking weirdos out there, bro. So, Koda, no disrespect to you, bro, but I don't accept... I don't accept um, Instagram followers. Wilbert Morales, bro, uh, you got to go. Yeah, bro. But uh, that's my thoughts on that, bro. But yeah, uh, no disrespect to you, bro. You, I mean, you, I'm sure you're cool. I just don't expect, um, I don't I don't accept Instagram followers. Maria says, what's the next video dropping? It's dropping tomorrow. I'm going to do a video on all the events of tonight. And all the little Twitter drama, but yeah, no disrespect to nobody, but I, I don't, I don't accept YouTube commenters on my Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care for internet friends. You know what I'm saying? I think internet friends are fake. You know, uh, you could be friendly in the comment section, but I don't know none of y'all, and I don't want to know none of y'all. Like real shit. So that's my take on that. No disrespect to you, but I would never accept a YouTube YouTube commenter on my IG. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm going to get up out of here. God bless y'all and your family. And uh, have a good night. I'm gone. Devin Haney Salt.